Hi all, and welcome to the video. And this one, it's the MA playthrough, number 23. So as you can see, still in Inferno. Yes, we are. Now, you may have already seen that the Froob is back as well. Yes, he is. It makes a, it, It's really weird switching from a Froob, a Lobby Froob MA, to a paid 215 MA, and then back again. It's like, where did all my awesomeness go? And vice versa. Um, so, yeah, kind of odd, but it's interesting. It is very interesting. We have a bit more questing to finish off. Uh, search for the shy. Kill five ermites. Yeah, um, going to be fun on MA that one. Not going to do any pre-calming or anything for this. No, we're just uh, going to do it the old way and uh, try and do it. Gear updates, not a lot of anything except I spotted one of those fairly reasonably priced on GMI. Uh, so I grabbed it. Normally I get the like 240-ish one and then get the upgrade for it from the Alien Playfields. But this was actually cheaper and will upgrade anyway if you're going to use it. I looked at the OFAB Special Edition MA one and kind of went, meh, <laughs> maybe, maybe for getting uh, gear on. It's got some stamina in it, but that's about it. But it's, um, if you think about it, this stopped levelling at... Uh, 200 as you can see there and it does have some fairly good stats on it uh, especially with the XP etc but really we've got that which now that is equipped means that our martial arts as a weapon is now at 2k which I like yes I do still need to think about a back armor piece I'm not sure what which way to go with that anyhow we have many mobs to kill so, shall we get on with it? Oh no, I have a salamander. Dailies are already done. Nothing new to report there, really. Um, now, these are always a pain in the bum to find because you can't see the mob physically. It's under the bloody ground. I'm going to deal with this guy. Let's get him out of the way. Yes, indeed. Oh yes, and procs, of course. Two salamanders, neither of which I need. Oh god, three! Really? <laughs> nicer crits 6k plus so yeah that's pretty good 638 hmm I wonder let's uh, pop that in 65 yeah that's better smoky salamander what was it uh, pretty much quest parts isn't it and oh, that's interesting a refined 232 yeah not something we need so yeah oh, apparently the uh, damage just went down <laughs> guessing this one has a little more AC plenty of buffs running as per usual finally renewed um, composite moochums 8 hours unless you're, you're out raiding or doing tons of uh, inferno missions they feel like they last a long time, really, those. Uh, we've got crap buff. There we go. Cut red tape. We have an AC buff. Gift of assurance. For 5k. Got the XP buff. We've now got the lovely improved essence of uh, Behemoth. And, you know, why not? Um, because it adds nearly 2k HP. Why not? Could have done with that a little earlier on in this quest line. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's one of those. Right. Lots of dead, useless mobs I didn't need. Boulder might know. Oh, God. Yeah, this is the fun part of this, is having to... deal with these guys in between. And probably end up killing dozens of mobs here. Yeah, I went off... Did um, Scavenger Wasteland was my daily, and it dropped. As I was there, I thought, oh, I, sh I should get one of these, you know. You can see there, it gives you treatment. Um, very useful item. So grab that, 
and while I was farming it, that dropped as well. It's a nice little item for someone. Probably not something I'm going to use. It's which which focus is it? Strength. Yeah. So in, interesting. Something we may use. I don't know really. But uh, yeah, I'm still working towards the Tonfa goal. Possibly with the is it X14R something weirdly named uh, three-way upgraded. Uh, Blades of Botar. I think you start off with a Chrysor weapon, like a, a 992 type. Then you apply, um, is it action probability something or other? One of those goes on it, and then you upgrade it once more with another item. I think it's, is it a weapon upgrade or something? I don't know. Anyway, it finally upgrades to that and gives you a sneak attack as well. Shy Ermite, let's see if we can't pull one. I've been attacked by one. There we go. I've done this all manner of different ways, ended up... Usually I end up getting hundreds of mobs chasing after me and run up to the top of there. I can't seem to zoom out and get into frame. Yeah, the, the what I call the Star Trek rock. Because it kind of reminds me of, you know, that classic... Star Trek episode. You know, the one where um, Kirk is fighting some kind of lizard alien in a battle to the death, and there's that one rock, and it's been featured in lots of uh, other movies, usually as homage to that particular episode. Nothing but bold. Yeah, we're tiptoeing around the edge of aggro range here, I think. I've done this before and just ended up with like a gazillion. Well, that's convenient. I didn't even have to pull that one. It just uh, immediately came at me. Plow through. Let's go for that. Yes, indeed. It's kind of a shame that I can't really make use of fire damage in Inferno. That's... Um, that's an odd one. Well, I can, but it does less damage than can, which is just annoying. Because this only gives... No, where is it going? Yeah, negative 2k ACs. And it's the only kind of proc from that, that line, but everyone said, oh yeah, definitely get that. That's a, that's a must-have perk line. Uh, I don't know. Probably. It does add a bunch of other stuff as well. That comes from... Oh my god, which one? Yeah, Spiritual Master, which is also adding, as you can see there, quite a lot to martial arts. So, more than anything, that's that's why that's uh, got perks in it. Still only seeing bold ermites. We need to find another shy... Tab, 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 and it's just going to go between them. Oh, another smoky salamander. Can I ignore him a little bit? Yeah, it's not like... See, that guy I can get because I can mouse over him, but when you're looking for these ermites, they're... they're kind of under the ground, so you, you don't see them until you're on top of them. Okay, I've got a ermite here, which is... This is a bold, which I don't need. Let's go back to the defensive hood. Have a look around. I'm not even seeing one at this stage. It could be someone else has been here, or I'm just not quite close enough to it any. Shy. Okay, let's pull shy. Now I've now got a horde of mobs, so I think we're going to avail ourselves of the, uh, of the Star Trek rock. Yes, we are. Any fan of Star Trek will know exactly what I mean, and for the rest of you, just, yeah. Just Google weird-looking rock Star Trek. Okay, have I still got a little... I have, I've got an, a little parade of mobs all chasing after me. So, let's get back up. Yeah, walking in the air. Now, I did have a shy targeted. Completely lost it now. Yeah, it's a weird piece of geometry. There, there you are. Ah, 
You reveal yourself to us. All the way out here. I'm getting a little close to the other Anzi here. Where are you? There you go. Okay, I'm going to go for a bit of limber. A bit of limber action. I think we're okay on this. I do have too many mobs. I bet these are too bold. Yeah, they are. Unfortunate. However, seem to be managing. Yeah, I've been debuffed by that Sumphos. Or Sumphy. I, 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 I like the word Sumphy as a, um, you know, like the collective now. Let's deal with the Sumphy. And then I need to lose the bolds. You see, I'd have no problem standing here and killing the two bolds, but this is a sequential quest in that you can see there, I have to do the five shy ermites before I can then kill the bold ermites, which is kind of a pain. And the reason I was severely tempted to get hold of uh, the crap and bring him here, just to calm everything, and then I could just sort of cherry pick out what I wanted. Have you got a doji? Nope. Okay, can I even tab another shy? I've had them all over the place as well, you know. I've been way out over here. They do roam around, it seems. Or they stay where they are after the... Oh, God, lag. After they've been chasing people. That seems to be a bit of a theme. No, I'm not seeing them. Oh, I just had one. Missed it. There you go. Let's keep that targeted. And up the rock. The rock of doom. <laughs> oh, you fell off. Can I actually... Yeah, I think I did. But I've still got a ridiculous amount of mobs chasing after me that I don't need. Or at least I don't need yet. It is a bit of a hard one to... Nope, fell off again. Yeah, it doesn't help that on Opifex characters, your feet never actually touched the floor. There we go. Case in point here, floating in the sky in Shadowlands. Oh, you've come all the way up. You're really making that mesh look bad. You are, because at the moment, you're floating in the air like I am, but at least I have feet, whereas you don't. will have confused the AI slightly. Okay, the shy is somewhere over there. Let's try him again. There we go. I have a horde of other mobs coming after me. All I want is that one. Okay, I'm going to go for Dance of Fools, seeing as the, uh, the number of mobs has increased somewhat dramatically. What's the betting there isn't a shy ermite in a Monday? No, not one. Oh, I think I saw one there. Come on. There you go. Come to me, my pretty. Yes, indeed. Right, let's play with the Rock of Doom again. Rock of Doom. Rock of Doom. You can kind of see on the mini-map just how many bloody mobs are scattered around everywhere with this. It's, uh, I'm going to say it, it's not good. It's not a good look. Yeah, they're all kind of over there. Okay, that should have got me away from them. See, as I'm jumping away, they're disappearing off my map, which means technically I'm actually disappearing from theirs. 
you know, their kind of aggro sensor range. Mostly. And then I run back into it like this. Yes, I've got a bit of a train forming behind me. It's not a good look. Hey, okay, Dancer Fools is back up, so... Where's my mob? I can't see my mob. Come on, I don't want to waste Dancer Fools. Where the fluff are you? There we go. All the debuffs. Limber. Okay. Let's take a little breather from these guys. Oh, that's not... Okay, this is bad. This is really, really bad. I am completely stuck in geometry. How the hell did I get in? I now can't get out. I am in here with some other mobs. Can't jump. Okay, this is not very good. It has reset everything, though. However, it's kind of left me stuck in the middle of no man's land. I'm jammed in geometry. Okay, I no longer need shy, do I? Battle the bold. Can I target a bold? No. Okay, do I want to go forward? Can't jump. Can't jump. <laughs> Oh dear. What about... No. I can only move through that vertice. Am I? Yes. Got myself out. Okay. Now I need a bold. Thankfully, that completely confused them. That wasn't deliberate. I have done that before, but it has been entirely accidental. Okay, have I got two bold? I've got a bunch of bolds. So what I'm going to try and do... Is fight all of them in one go using the logic that as I kill them there's less incoming damage not the best logic ever used by anybody but you know it kind of works not sure how many that remains it was uh, spamming past far too quickly for me to see that I'm going to go for limber Starting to feel a little more powerful now. No two ways about it. Okay, this is looking rather well, I think. The remainder of this quest I have severe doubts about even using Zazen form, but we'll, we can kind of try it, maybe. Okay, how many? Uh. Three more, yeah, so a little way to go yet. Okay, two more bold. Not seeing any. No. Always the way, isn't it? When there's a particular mo oh there we go. There we go. Yeah, whenever you need a particular mob in a cluster of them, it's never the one you bloody well get, is it? It's never the one you can find. Feels like we're doing reasonable damage now. Although, I can't actually really switch to the damage HUD instead start taking a little too many harder hits strangely enough but our ACs have improved quite a bit as you can see now they're like in this range and 216 may mean I swap out the dragon chest for the DB um, operative one because they are nice now, somewhere in amongst all these is the calamitous somewhere I think this is our last one of the bold. Pretty sure it is, in fact. Let's give it some fists of winter flame. I always find it odd that there's this kind of huge, like, rock rumbling sound as we use a heel. Like, 
Okay, not much from there. Then if I use the, the team heal. It's a very low pitched kind of thing. Uh, is the Calamitous anywhere? He was on me for a, a brief time. Not finding him. Is he maybe stuck in that bloody rock as well? No, not seeing you anywhere around here. I wonder where the hell he is. He's not in the rock, is he? I didn't kill him, unless somebody else came along and killed him, I don't know. It is possible. No, I'm only seeing a shy coming up here. He did, he, I think he came up here. But where the hell is he now? Where are you? No, I'm not seeing him. Yeah, it's not an absolute get out of jail free, rock -a doom kind of place. Where the hell is the calamitous one? I didn't kill him by accident or something, did I? <laughs> no, I'm sure I would have spotted that. I don't think he's in there. Where is he? Despawn? Run off in a random direction for some miles? Ooh, what was that one? Oh, that was him. I just got him. Just had him. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, come on, you swine. I just had you in my sights. You were just around here somewhere. There you are. I have you now. I hit you with that. How many are more are behind? He's a bit tougher, that one. Okay, here we go. Dance of fools. Uh, dance of fools, please. Oh, God. I think there might be too much lag for this. There is a lot of lag, actually. going to do a lot of healing. This would be like the tri plumbo fight. Because we've got so many sodding mobs on me. Debuffs on him. Okay. Yeah, I picked up the zombie debuff there. That's not a good look. Okay, and limber. Stay on target. Keep the heels incoming. Okay, land all the perks on him. Land all the perks on him. Not quite sure how many of the mobs from this area I have on me now. My guess is pretty much all of them. Yes, indeed. Come on, we're nearly there, nearly there. And that's a fool. So remember, most accidents happen on the way down. Okay, sorry little mobs, but it is time for me to go. Yes, it is. Return with the information. So the one who talks with the past, who is up the ramp and over the other side. So we're at least going to be doing that. Oh, a little agent just went whizzing past as a doctor. Because you never actually see <laughs> a doctor that small. I don't think it's possible to make a actual doctor that small. 
what would they have to make themselves that small? Even with the smallest uh, mesh, shrinking braces don't work anymore, etc. So, don't know. Okay, who am I talking to again? The one who talks with the past. It's you, dude. I have the information you wanted. Do I? What did it give me? Concentrated psychic information. Yeah, oh, right. there you go. Yay! Have you saved the stories? What has he given me? Yeah, it's not incredibly terrible. You know, it has its uses, but um, it's just outdated now. You know, 75 to all damage plus all those other stats makes that... Well, yes. So we're going back to the Anzi thing. So what now? Do, 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 do. I really don't think I could tank the boss in this anyway. Okay, let's get down to business. Goodbye, right. So where is he sending me? Do, do, do. Come on. Get the con uh, concentrated... Psychic data. Is this the other one I was thinking of? I think it is. Remember I said I'm pre-farming this? About five episodes ago. This is the one that drops from those... Um, they look like uh, voracious horrors. Forget the name. Nice. How are we doing on research anyway? It's just taking forever. I need to get my arse into some Inferno missions. I really do. You do this one. You must retrieve the key. Assault on the Ansi. Yes, the orators, etc. Honestly, I don't think I can manage that on this character. It's pretty hard on any character. Um, I think I soloed it on Shade. Long time ago, but um, Rip Stanley, indeed. Does look a little bit like Stanley, actually. Fair dues. Um, we, we can probably do some of them, but there's no way I think we can do all of them. So for this episode, I'm just going to call it a day. But I thought you might enjoy watching me run around like a lunatic fighting lots and lots of ermites. So yeah, there you go. Okay, folks. Bye for now.